In this video, I'm going to show you how to create images for names. So in the previous video, you learned the method to remember names. And a quick rundown of that is pick a characteristic on their face, change the name into an image, connect the image to the characteristic. Now people do have a lot of trouble coming up with images for the names. And when it comes to names, it's really important that you're able to say it because you're meeting people, right? You're like, oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And then you have to recall their name verbally. You no, know, you don't have to write it down. You have to actually say it. So you don't want to say the wrong name or pronounce the name wrong because a person may get upset. So in this video, I'm going to do a real example and show you exactly how to come up with images because that's the hardest part. I was horrible at it, but only through practicing did I get better and better and better. And so that's what you have to do really. You just have to keep practicing, you know, changing the names into images because that's what's going to help you remember the names and come up with the images on the spot. Because when, when you meet people, you don't have a lot of time to, you know, think of an image. Like, okay, hold on, wait, wait one second. Uh, okay, let's go. And so here we have six names. Don't worry about the last name. We're just going to focus on the first name. So here we have Emily. Now the characteristic that stands out to me is uh, our teeth, okay? So Emily. For me, when I think of Emily, I, the M stands out. Emily. Mm, mm, the mm. Okay, so the M. Uh, so Emily. So what I'm going to picture is on her teeth, I'm just going to see um, in charcoal, you know, like a marker, drawing a big M. Right? Because that makes sense. Her name is Emily. So for me, just remembering the M is going to help trigger the Ali part. So Emily. So that's how I would come up with the image for that name. Now let's go to the next one. Robin. So uh, her eyes stick out to me. To me, you know, they're like hazel looking. And so Robin. Uh, of course, I'm going to think of the bird Robin. Right? A bird Robin. And so I see a bird, a Robin, attacking her eyes. Um, so that's what I'm going to picture. Okay, uh, John. Now, his forehead is the first thing that comes to mind. John, I think of a toilet. And so I'm going to picture a toilet on his head. Now, this is a key because what happens is you need to come up with an image that's going to work for you. That makes sense. Right now, toilet probably doesn't make sense to any of you or, or, or might. But majority, you're like, toilet? That's John, what? Uh, I, I use a toilet because use the John. Right, use the John, which means use a toilet, and so a toilet makes sense there. And this is the thing: I know when I see his name or see the image on his face, I see a toilet. I'm not, I'm not gonna think, "Hey, his name is toilet." No, 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 toilet. I'm like toilet. Use a John. His name is John, and so that's where you have to come up with an image that works for you. And maybe the image, you know, maybe it's not on the pronunciation or anything like that, but it just triggers it. Go ahead and use it. Use images that are gonna work for you. So let's go on to the next one. Uh, we have Joseph. So Joseph, for, for me, right away, his hair kind of sticks out. It's kind of crazy. Um, Joseph. So what I think of is just Joe. The sub part, I'm going to forget it. So Joe, I think of um, coffee, a cup of Joe. So maybe I picture pouring a whole bunch of coffee on his hair. Uh, so that's what I'll picture. David. Uh, so... First of all, his like eyes, because in this picture, they look kind of like creepy. He look, <laughs> it looks kind of scary. And so David, vid, I'm going to picture a videotape, okay? And so these days, you don't really see videotapes. You see mostly DVDs. Um, so a videotape. And maybe I see myself inserting a videotape into his eyes, okay? And so I forgot the day part, so I'm just focused on the vid. And then here we go. We have uh, Mary. And so her hair, because it's red, or I think it's a flower actually, but that, that thing sticks out, okay? That thing sticks out. Or I could use her glasses. Mary, I think of a, a wedding, so a cake. So I know when I see the image, I'm going to think, oh, her name is Cake. No, I'm like, oh yeah, Cake, Mary, because maybe I put like a bride and groom on top of the cake, so that triggers Mary, okay? So those are the images I would see for it. So now let's uh, get that away and just have the names, or have the faces come back in the random order. And so hopefully going through this like step by step really helps you and shows you what goes on in my mind when I actually memorize names at a high speed so you can apply the same methods. So here we go. Um, right away, uh, I see her glasses. I see a whole bunch of cake on it. Cake, um, you know, bride and groom, Mary. Uh, okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, because there's two things. My bad. Uh, okay. <laughs> um, forehead, a toilet. Toilet, use the toilet. Use the John. His name is John. Uh, um, pouring coffee on his hair, uh, Joe, but 
it's Joseph. I remember the Joseph just because I know I saw it. I know I actually saw the name. Uh, here we have a videotape going to his eye. Um, vid, David. Here uh, we have these really, you know, um, eyes, these sticking out, stunning eyes. And so a Robin is attacking them. Her name is Robin. And lastly, her teeth. I see, you know, myself with a marker drawing a big M. Oh yeah, M, Emily. And of course, you know, just to make sure um, I know it, there was Mary, John, Joseph, David, Robin, Emily. So I know this video took a little bit longer to explain, but I just want to make sure you really understand the process and how you come up with these images and how some things may not make sense to you when I explain it right off the bat. Uh, but, you know, if I give the reason why I'm using this image, it does make sense. Like John, toilet, you might be like, what? Toilet? <laughs> that makes no sense. Uh, but so hopefully this gives you a greater insight on how things work and how they create images for names. Because usually that's going to be the hardest part. Characteristic, you always see that when you see a person. Something always stands out. It doesn't matter what it is. There's always something that stands out. And so the name, um, changing the name to the image is going to be the toughest part. So I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.